Virginia, what's he doing? He's washing himself. Why? So he'll be clean. Why? Oh, just because. Hey, Virginia, come on up and wash before I set my bath. All right, Fred. Come on, Dolly, let's go upstairs. Wait, Virginia, I can wash right here. Look! Oh, Dolly, that's no good. Why? That's just Dolly. Why? Oh, because. Come on, Dolly. Virginia doesn't know the answer to Dolly's question. Let's see if we can explain it. You and I have a coat of armor that protects our bodies from the outside world. It's our skin. We wash it with soap and water. Why? Well, there's a special reason. Look at your skin through a magnifying glass. It looks like it's full of tiny holes, doesn't it? These holes are called pores. Some have little hairs growing out of them. But did you know that you really have two skins? The one you see is the outer skin. It's the toughest part of this coat of armor. Underneath it is another layer, the inner skin. And beneath this is a layer of fat. In this fatty layer are sweat glands, lots of them all over your body. There are special kinds of sweat glands under your arms and in other parts of your skin. These glands have little ducts to carry the sweat or perspiration to the outside air. Most of the time, the sweat dries as fast as it comes out. Sometimes it collects in little drops. The air dries this sweat, and that helps to keep you cool. Every hair grows from a tiny root. These roots are in the fatty layer, too. Around the hairs and in other parts of the skin are oil glands. They open on the outer skin like the sweat glands. These openings are some of the pores that you can see in your skin. The oil made in these glands spreads over your skin and helps to keep it soft. When you get dirty, the dirt sticks in this oil. Germs do, too, plain water. To get off this mixture of oil, dirt, and germs, you have to use soap. Soap has a special way of cutting into the oil. It breaks the oil up into tiny drops and surrounds each drop. When you wash off the soap, the oil, dirt, and germs come off with it, and your skin is fresh and clean. And that's the special reason why people wash with soap. From the time you were born, you have this living coat of armor. It keeps out germs and dirt as long as it isn't broken or cut. You have many kinds of skin. Your fingernails are a kind of hardened skin. Even your hair is a kind of skin. In fact, most of what people see of you is your skin. That's still another reason why the care of the skin is so important. Your skin can get sick just like any part of your body. And when it does, a doctor can help it to get well. But if you keep your skin clean, there's less chance that a disease will be able to get started. This boy's skin has a disease called eczema. If it isn't taken care of, it may get dangerously infected. Infections like this are painful and hard to get rid of. This is athlete's foot. To guard against it, keep your toes dry and clean. And chapped hands can come from a little thing like not drying carefully. Virginia knows how to take care of her skin. She washes her hands at least four times a day. She washes everywhere between her fingers, too, with plenty of soap and warm water. She knows that germs like to hide under fingernails. A stiff fingernail brush gets them out. It brushes the cuticle off her nails, too, and leaves her nails bright and pretty. And now her face, a soapy washcloth, keeps from splashing water. She washes her face at least every morning and evening. She rubs gently all over her face. She washes right up to the edge of her hair. She rubs carefully to get all the dirt out of the pores so they won't clog. 
Here's a place where dirt collects pretty fast. She washes her ears inside and behind every time she washes her face. And now her neck. She gets the front of it, and she doesn't forget the back. You won't ever find a high water mark on Virginia's neck after she has washed herself. Who is it? Hurry up, Virginia. I want to wash. I'll be ready in a minute, Billy. You'll have to wait till Virginia rinses herself. First, she gets all the soap out of the washcloth. And then she uses the washcloth to take the soap off her face. She's careful to get every bit of it off. Soap left on the skin makes it feel dry and tight and makes it easier for the skin to chat. She gets all the soap out of her ears and from behind her ears, too. And then she rinses her neck, the front of her neck, and the back. She gets underneath her hair to make sure no soap has been left there. Now, a final rinsing to get all the soap and dirt out of the washcloth before she hangs it up to dry. She rinses the basin, too, so it will be clean and neat for the next person who uses it. Not that it matters to Billy. As far as he's concerned, he's been waiting much too long already. But Virginia won't be rushed. She knows that drying is just as important as washing. A good job of drying leaves the skin more comfortable and helps to prevent chapping. When Virginia's through, she hangs up her towel. So it will dry, and because it looks better that way. Billy's learning to use plenty of soap and water when he washes. Uh-oh. Oh, looks like that kitten started something. A few minutes. But what a difference it makes in the way he feels. And now, a final look. Towels folded and hung up to dry. No ring around the tub. And the basin rinsed and cleaned. Fred's ready to turn in for the night. Virginia's ready for bed, too. They both know that plenty of rest, anything that helps your health, helps your skin, too. Billy's fast asleep. Well, he should have been asleep long ago. Seems that he has a problem tonight. Someday, Billy, you'll find out why people wash.